Yo, what is good guys? It's your boy Dixon from Intuitive Designs. Today I'll be designing a shirt for the weekend and the aesthetic that I'm going for is black, gray, white stencil design style. So lots of basic threshold effect. Without further ado, let's get right to it. So guys, I've done my research and got my stock assets ready. Now, I wanted the design to center around an angry, dark, barking, that kind of concept uh, for no specific reason. I just wanted to do this as a quick practice only. But, you know, I know the dark concept is a bit of a play at this point. You know, we see tons of brands already doing it or have done it before. But, you know, I don't mind it. So, let's see. If you're new to this channel and you wonder how to do this effect, I have made a tutorial about it already and it is beginners friendly so go check it out in the pop up on the top right corner. Now I'm just gonna clean up the bottom edge because I don't like how it's just cut off like that, it doesn't look organic at all. So I'll add a mask layer to the dark layer and then just brush out the unwanted part using the brush tool. And after that, I'll add a spark or some kind of lens flare to the dog's eye just to make it look more menacing. So guys, the first lens flare photo didn't work out. I couldn't find the right value for it to look the way I want it. So I took a break and look up some other stock lens flare photos. Luckily, I got this one right here. Hopefully, it'll work out. Right now comes my favorite part of adding this barbed wire to the dog's neck. I like how it makes the dog looks way more intimidating. Now this dog photo is easier for me to edit because it already comes with transparent background so that I don't have to you know spend more time editing the background out. If you're wondering where I got it, it's from Embato Elements which is today's sponsor. I've been using Vato Elements for almost 2 years now and with their 50 million large of assets library, it serves me perfectly as my only one graphic design toolbox. Here you can find premium stock assets such as this, 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 and this. With unlimited download, you have full control to experiment and create all you like. You can even easily search for anything you want and quickly land on high resolution images such as this. My favorite from the site is their 3D assets library. For someone like me who don't use any 3D softwares, this tremendously changes the game for me. What's even better is you can even choose the angle you like and download it as PNG file with transparent background. With Envato Elements, you get unlimited download with only one subscription. So click the link below now to get 50% off annually for just $16.50 per month. Let's get back to the video.
Now comes the part where I add the text to the design. Actually, this is my favorite part when it comes to shirt designing, so scratch that first one earlier. Anyway, I want the design to be classy, so I decided to go with a serif font, but not the boring kind like Times New Roman, that kind, but more like on the side where it's tall and thin. So that gives off this modern acid look. Um, I've managed to find one called Mira Aureolic. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah, I like the expensive look of it, if you know what I mean. So yeah, let's test it out. For the placement, I wanted to try something less conservative, meaning where it's either on top of the shirt design or at the bottom. So I'm currently testing out this vertical one, um, which looks pretty cool to me, so I might stick to it. But yeah, I'll play with it some more. After that, I'll add a couple more icons to the design and wrap it up and show you guys the final result. Stay tuned. Thank you. 